Out now. Okay, I'm here with Tom Anderton, former cage fighter, runs uh, Tom's Music Trade in Red Lion, Pennsylvania. And there you are, Tom, with the uh, with the person in the uh, in the chokehold. Mm -hmm. What yeah. what had he been doing at this point? Uh, well, I just I just that? called him um, uh, shoplifting and just pulled him out, um, pulled him out of his back pocket, confronted him, went to check to see if he had anything else, and that's when I went to check him. He pulled the knife out. It's a big knife as well. Um, and then I grabbed his arm, um, started shouting and dropped the knife. Customers jumped in. Uh, my friend Joe actually was the one that prized it out of his hand. He wasn't giving the knife up for nothing. Um, and then I just restrained him. And because um, he wanted, he was just trying to get out of the store. And um, I have a different so he is he losing consciousness here? Looks no, like. no, 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 no. He just went down. He, he just went down at the moment. I'm not actually trying to like choke him out in a minute, but he's still struggling. He's still, you know, in a second though now. Just, I just put my hand on the back of his head and just like just apply a bit more pressure, and his arms just goes limp. Yep. You know, and that's it. And I just pretty much let him go then, and. Um, and he's, he's calm after that, pretty much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so yeah, here's Tom. Yeah, yeah. Tom, yeah, it was great. Uh, you know, I, I covered a, a bunch of your fights uh, right, yes, here in Pennsylvania yeah. and, and um, in, in the amateur ranks, and uh, right. enjoyed always seeing you uh, knock some fools out in the cage there. Right, I think right, it was right. great. But uh, so I mean, the training definitely came in handy here as you're trying it's, to run your business. Right, right. Just instinct. Yeah, when you train. Like that every day for for a few years. Yeah, you don't even think about it. Just just do it. Thankfully. <laughs> and you said that uh, one of your daughters was was here at the time. Yeah, my daughter Abby, my old eldest twelve year old. She was right. The the guy who fell over here. This is where we took the knife off, and my daughter was right here. So she was like a feet, two feet away from the whole thing. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was very. Uh, it was scary. You know. It was, uh, I'm just glad it happened like it did, but yeah, I was still scared to death when the whole thing was going on, you know. Didn't know what was going to happen, so. Well, I'm glad everything turned out for you, yeah, Tom. Me and, too, man. and uh, too. You know, here you are trying, trying to run a legitimate business, you know. Right, so. right, right. Yeah, I mean, I mean you know, in eight years of having a store, never had anything even close to as crazy as that, you know. So, uh, yeah, just, I'm just glad no one got hurt and, uh, and uh, it, it worked out like the way it did, you know.